Hey everybody, Uncle Grizzly here with you. Just thought I'd uh, bring in uh, another video with an update on the flooding around here. In this video, you're going to see part of a local cemetery. And then we're going to go out and uh, check out the Garrison Avenue Bridge between uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas and Oklahoma. See how high it is, see what kind of flooding's going on down there. And then we're going to go back out and check out the Walmart on Kelly Highway that we've been showing everybody. Kind of interesting what they're doing around Walmart. I'm not going to say anything else, but I'll let you see it in the video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like, and most of all, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. We are five away from hitting our first 100 subscribers. So if I could get five more of you to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, I would sure love it. Now, on to the video. Hey guys, Uncle Grizzly coming at you again. The another update on some of the flooding here around Fort Smith Arkansas I'm currently standing in Roselawn Cemetery which is just west of the interstate I don't know if you can hear it for the wind and stuff but the interstate let me turn you around here yeah, come on I don't want to, my camera don't want to flip around so give me just a second okay I'm back I got the camera flipped the interstate is just right beyond those trees right there but uh, as you can see quite a bit of this cemetery it even wraps back around over this way is underwater That's surreal, but that is so cool looking right there. But it wraps on up around, and yes, there are graves underwater. You can see right there's the top of a headstone. There's another one, there's another one. There's all kinds back out through there. And unfortunately, the mother of a classmate of mine is buried out in that corner right in there, and she's underwater right now. Or if she's not, she's pretty daggum close to it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for right now. And I'm going to head downtown and go onto the Garrison Avenue Bridge and get some footage out there. So we'll see you there. Okay, guys, here we are. We're on the Arkansas River Garrison Avenue Bridge looking into Fort Smith. Oklahoma's over that way. Let's go up through here and take a look. This area down here, uh, let me zoom back here. But all of this down here below us normally is above water. Doing all right. But as you can see, there's the river. You can get on up here and see how it's flowing. How y'all doing? Good. Boy, I can really hear it rushing through these trees right now, which this line of trees normally marks the river bank. And as you can see in that, there's still quite a bit of current in that. See it going under the bridge there. looking out towards where the Poto River comes in just right back around over here to the left boy
Well, watch the white caps form right there. Go on up here a little bit further. Okay, that's fine, baby. <laughs> As you can tell, there's quite a bit of people out here looking. Mid. Here's looking out over the river to the south. Right over here in, in this little area here is where the Poto River comes in. Now you can see right over here the water's backed up all into that area. That over there is Moffat, Oklahoma, which has been evacuated. One other little spot up here I want to look at from this side, and then we'll cross over and look up or look upstream. There you go. Right down there is where one of the bumpers so to speak for the bridge or for the uh, uh, crap I, uh, the travel channel is at to protect the bridge look at how the water's boiling all up over it Cross over here and take a look going upstream. At least they were nice enough to provide us with these well placed benches. <coughs> huh? What do you do? Sit down on it, swing your legs over like I did. Here, let me see your phone. In case y'all are wondering, I got Mama Grizz with me. She's gonna try and get across the bench. Yeah, just sit down, swing your legs over. Oh. How about I just sit here for a minute? Oh, you can sit there if you want. I'm going to go over here and look. I'm going to try and look down at the... Here, hang on to that. Try to look down here at the amphitheater. Oh. Holy cow. Look at this. This is just crazy. There's the Marshall Museum. They say it's supposed to be above the floodplain, but I tell you what, the water's getting awful dang I'm close to it. And look out, look all out through there. I'm gonna get some pictures to include with this and then uh, we'll catch you. Oh yeah, by the way, right down there, right in that area somewhere, you can see the one of the temporary barricades that they put up to hold back the river water and to also keep people from getting down in there. I'll take it easy and uh, enjoy the photos. Stop that gummy. Okay, guys, I wanted to get you some uh, more up close footage of Walmart right over here. But unfortunately, water has finally breached the back of their parking lot. And I don't know how well I can zoom in and show you here. But if you look right in here, you see the orange along the bottom of the building. They're currently erecting a like a temporary dam system that they're wrapping all the way around the store to try to keep water out. But I'm up here at the new Life Church that's set higher than Walmart. But you can see the water's coming up on up in here. 
and just two days ago this was still dry but you can see it's all the way back over in here they're coming up then it goes down into a creek goes back under the highway and the cemetery that I was at earlier is just right back over here uh, the other side of the highway where a bunch of this water is draining to and filling it up well, let's walk down this way and take a look tell you what I'm not leaving my truck here honey here if you'll take that yeah and hold it while we're going down there we'll drive down okay As we're going along to kind of shoot out the side window there. Okay. We'll go over to this other side in the parking area and see if we can get a better shot of Walmart over here. But look at that. Yeah. There you can see the barricade they're putting up around Walmart right now. They've got it completely blocked off where you cannot get around to the back of the store. And you see the little barricade across the street, the water's right there at it. So it's coming on up here. In the last video, I was actually parked right down here. And got some, I actually, I think I did that on my uh, Facebook page. But I parked right down, right down in this area right here. And took some video showing water current and this was starting to fill up. This is all filled up here in like two days. Yeah, this is just crazy, crazy. But on the barricade, you can, they started right here under the pharmacy drive-through, and they've gone around and behind the building, and they're coming back up, and they're about halfway back up the front of the building. But yeah, this is just, this is just something else. I'm going to go over and see if I can find a spot to park and get out to where I can get some footage back on that side of the store. And uh, I guess we'll catch you later once I get over there on the other side. I'm now on the north side of Walmart. You can see the little water dam system they're putting in place there. I can't get back into the parking lot where my other videos were from because they now have it blocked off. But hey, you can get an idea here just how high it's getting. You know, my last video, parts of this little building still had some dry ground but now everything out there is surrounded come back over here and you can see right there in the corner zoom in here for you but right there in the corner of the parking lot it's starting to uh, breach over in 
and you can see here we've got wet spots where they're starting to get groundwater seeping up through the parking lot so there you go and it is now a pro uh, I'd say a little after five o'clock now and at two o'clock this afternoon they said the uh, river level out here at Van Buren was at 40 feet 3 inches. So we've still got a little over 2 foot left to go. But uh, it's getting soggier and soggier by the minute. So everybody have a good time. Stay safe. If you're in this area, stay dry. We'll catch you later. Bye.